Welcome back to the Fandango Studios. I'm Christian Harloff, and boy, am I excited. I am joined by the director and the cast of Kong Skull Island. Yeah. Guys, come on. Are you kidding? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, so I was excited <clears throat> to talk to you guys three, four hours ago, and then the trailer drops. Yeah. Come on. The trailer, John, I lost my mind. I'm serious. Come on. There you go. I like this. How crazy and surreal is it that I have John Goodman here reacting to my statements? Um, first of all, <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. So I saw the trailer, and it to me seemed like it was like a mix of like Apocalypse Now meets Predator. It was yeah. this tone. Jordan, what was the, the tone that you were going for for this well, movie? Well, it wasn't that. <laughs> no, not it. <laughs> uh, look, those are both seminal movies to me. Uh, Predator and Apocalypse Now are not films that I throw around lightly. Those are incredible, uh, just pieces of cinema. We, we, we chose to set the movie in 1973, not just because choppers and napalm and the aesthetic of the 70s mixed with monsters is cool, but also to root it in character uh, and to root it in what was happening in that time with a bunch of sort of broken people who had one foot in the old guard and one foot in the new guard and were trying to figure themselves out. And the 70s is kind of a weird mirror of what's happening now. So the 70s and in the Apocalypse Now references really was an access point to get us to character. But yes, obviously, like I'm, I, 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 someone who grew up on the films of the 70s and th th those had a huge personal influence to me. So, you know, they're obviously our influences. Well, I, oddly enough, in the 70s, I was a theater student studying how to react to tennis balls as if they were a large ape. Well, we talked about that large ape. We heard that he was going to be big, and then you yep. see him in the trailer. Now, the question was, was this also was this done because we want to see him be able to stand up against Godzilla when that eventually happens, or was it, it was just always the plan to take a new version of him and make him this big? And had you guys all seen him yet, or was this the first time? I saw him when he was drafted in the first round. <laughs> uh, the, the, look, the, the, the bigger franchise questions are things kind of above all of our pay grades. Sure. Our job was to focus and make the best version of this movie. And the reason he's so big is because fundamentally, I want to be able to take these guys and land these characters on the island and have them stare up at this thing towering over them and to be in the shadow of a creature that your, your human civilized brain can only reconcile to say, that's a god. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. is that a god? Yeah. Do, you, do you want a reaction shot of that? I would love that. <laughs> 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 yeah, and we, we had some amazing concept art, like in the process, we had an amazing art department who put together some things, but before that, we hadn't seen Kong at all. So today, it was, it was almost mind-blowing to see it, you know what I mean? To be like, wow, it's all coming together, because we were in these real elements, you know what I mean? In Vietnam, and Hawaii, and Australia, like in these forests, in, in these 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 swamps where you know water's up to your waist and when it all comes together and collides you're like wow it's it's amazing well you had mentioned the filming locations at the time you, i heard that you yeah. had it was was it kind of rough filming in those locations was it like what was it like filming in the swamps and just kind of getting in character here as you're looking well, for the big beast it's i think it's like you know um all acting is 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 about trying to respond in imaginary circumstances, and and the, and Jordan put us in circumstances that were real, sure. and and we went to um, we went to the, the rainforests of somebody. That sounds Kong like Kong back there. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Kong is playing street ball. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were in, in in there's some rainforests in Queensland in Australia, um, and the swamps uh, and, and the mountains and the lakes of Vietnam, and the valleys of Hawaii, the, of Oahu. And all of these places will, will kind of cohere to be Skull Island. And it was extraordinary to be physically in the circumstances of those places. You know, there are, there are places unseen, I think, still, that, that the film will show you, specifically in Vietnam. There was, it's, Vietnam was magical. Yeah. yeah. And, and difficult, in a way, like, because you, you, the, the cinematography will be breathtaking. But if the scene takes place in a swamp, it's a, it's a swamp, you know what I mean? Well, it's encouraging to hear that, too, because yeah. you get those really, uh, locations and you feel like, even as an audience member, when you guys are feeling it, we, it transfers to well, us. I think in yeah. cinema now it's tangible or palpable. I think audiences know, I know, I know, when I'm watching something. Audiences are smart real. now, and I, yeah. I also think that there's, a, there's a trend and there's a desire because we can do anything now. Sure. And so because we can do anything, it's no longer special. Yeah. And so when you do something, 
like to to really wow people now like you have to be doing you have to have special effects and, and spectacle for a reason and we wanted to fundamentally create a film that felt tactile and real so the audiences felt like this is a real place that they're in as opposed to just there's so many fantastical things going on we didn't want it to be a fantasy land yeah you know it, it couldn't, really it, couldn't shot. it couldn't it couldn't be a green really screen environment yeah <laughs> you can't give it really <laughs> that, you know? yeah, it's not a real yeah. movie unless you kill three stuntmen <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> we are here with both the director and the cast of Kong, Skull Island. Guys, I also wanted to ask you, um, some fans, fans were writing some questions, and I, Tina yeah. asks, what was your favorite location to film at? For all you guys. I mean, Hands I'd say down. Vietnam as a whole, right, yeah. in terms of countries, yeah, yeah. but I mean, what were your favorite places? Vietnam. Yeah, yeah I, I have to say hands down Vietnam. Okay. I, I but joke, was there a specific? Yeah. Too. Yeah. Was there a specific actual location though for seeing the? How Long Bay. How Long Bay. How Long Bay was incredible. We saw schools of jellyfish and like it's wild a, monkeys and like bushmen who hadn't even like like. It was crazy. I was like, I didn't even know people lived like this, and they were like, go home. You know what I mean? But it was it was really really cool. It was special to like. To feel that environment, you know what I mean? It was like a, a 30 minute boat ride just to get to, right. to, to set. It was a dope. Collection of lakes in Ninbin where it seems like the mountains rise up like skyscrapers out of the water. Mm -hmm. And we had we were all on a boat that in the film the characters are on a boat. And I remember um, we were allowed to drive the boat ourselves and 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 Jordan You weren't allowed, you just did it. <laughs> <laughs> but they, like we get cameras rigged on helicopters and then we just drive the boat through these you know, mountainous lakes. It was the most extraordinary thing. It was really um, completely unique, unlike anything I've ever seen right. or done before. Um, so Erica asks, what is King Kong in real life? Super arrogant or surprisingly a nice guy? Definitely a nice guy. He's, he's a, a mixture of both. He's a, yeah. he's both. You know Erica if being that Kong's not here, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. You know, this yeah. he's kind it. of he's you know, he's kind of a dick. You know, he stayed, I mean? in, he stayed in his huge trailer a lot. Right, exactly. Like <laughs> how do you want people like do you know what you have to go through to physically knock on a door that big and him to hear you? You know what I mean? It's just it's it's a fiasco. Got Standing be, behind yeah, this guy in the lunch yeah. line. Yeah. <laughs> and he hit all <laughs> his assistants and makeup people. Yeah. <laughs> Lawyers. Yeah. But but a big part of it, you know, with the film is, you know, the reason people have always responded to Kong as a character is the 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 sort of beastly side of ourselves, right? The 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 less evolved side of ourselves, yet the the emotion hidden within that. And so, you know, our Kong is sort of a weird mix of those two things where he is the god of this island. This is his domain, and, and how dare us enter here? Yet, he's he's a lonely, he's a lonely god, you know. And, and what is the toll of that take on you, you know? Well, and getting that from the trailer, also, you know, Mr. Goodman, I want to ask you because Mr. Goodman. I have to. I mean, for, I have to. I mean, for, I'm been such a big fan. I'm gonna. I have to call you Mr. Goodman. And the, you scared the crap out of me in t Ten Cloverfield Lane. Another one you scared. You scared the crap out of me was Fallen. This one, to me, it seems, I, and I could be wrong, just from what I've seen in the trailer, you're the guy that I, is, is hunting Kong, bringing everybody over there, showing, uh, just kind of, I, I think being the representation of maybe kind of what's bad with humans? Am I, am I wrong? Y yes and no. He, he has the arrogance that uh, modern technology, now that we have it, we're going to uh, finally answer some questions about this area, which has just been discovered due to new satellite technology. Uh, mapping the area. It was new then. Um, and get some answers. Uh, there's around that area, there have been ships, planes disappeared. It's like the Bermuda Triangle of uh, wherever the hell it is. Uh, yeah, just things fall off the map. Uh, now they found this place. They're going to go in, and um, uh, my character has uh, uh, different motives, but uh, it, it, he, he also brings a, a hubris. With him, uh, that they're they're gonna um, take care of any little problems that they have. All right, I'd like to play a game with you guys before we take off here. Let's do it. Here this one is called Two Truths, Sitting Forward, Strip One Lie. Poker. Two Truths, One Lie. So here's what Sounds here's like the story goes. of my life. You are gonna give three statements about yourselves, and then we are gonna have to guess what the lie is. So think about three statements about yourselves that are true. My actual self. Your actual self. Okay. Three statements, Wait. and then one lie, and then we'll see. How well two truths, one lie. Correct. Okay. So two things that are true about yourself. One thing is that absolute false, not true. Jason, start with you. Okay. Um, I was born in Germany. Um, I've been shot. And 
Um, uh, I have a giant little brother. You have a giant little brother? He's a giant. Okay. Yes. Tom, I'll call to you. What do you think was the lie? Were you listening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like... Careful here. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. I don't think you were born in Germany. Mm. No. Man. True. That is true. It is true. What, what was false? I, I've never been shot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was black. Nobody ever gets a head of shot. Really, <laughs> you said it with conviction, though, man. Yeah, you were like, that's you how you It's called that. Yeah, this is you why understand. Jason Mitchell is so good. That's right. <laughs> uh, wow. I'm not a big game guy, so I'm just gonna be really simple here. Right. I love my cast. I can't wait for people to see this movie. I shaved this morning. <laughs> I think we can guess which one uh, guess is not fans. true there. Yeah. <laughs> do you have, I, do you have any? I don't have anything ready. I have nothing. Uh, nothing ready. Uh, yeah. I, um, uh, I was born in London. I have German blood in me. And you've been shot. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been shot. Well, come on! <laughs> well, I say. How do you know he hasn't been shot, man? You don't well, know. Because you know like, what? You know what? Because he could be playing with us because on maybe on a set he's been, or as a character. So. Yeah, but I'm gonna say you've never been shot. I've never been shot. All right. <laughs> try. Have I been shot? <laughs> Should we try? We can do it. Who me? Yes, sir. I did it. He's never been shot. No. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Then I guess that's that's the end of that game. Uh, I, all right. So uh, one more thing for uh, for everyone else that they should know about Kong Skull Island going into it when it comes out next year from each one of you guys. Oh well, it's gonna be electrifying. It's gonna be a taste of the old, a taste of the new. It's gonna have great relationships. Obviously, a great cast, and um, it's gonna blow your socks off. And if you're not there. I'm kind of going to feel some type of way about it, so prepare to hear from me. <laughs> Honestly, I'd prefer people to know as little as possible going in. I think a big problem with movies these days is that people go in knowing everything, and so there's so little to discover. And so if you're interested, go in knowing as little as possible. Like, you know, really like, experience it as these characters experience it. And I'm really proud of what the world that we've been making and the, the sort of journey that they go on, and I just hope that people can going to discover it themselves. Well, to speak on that real quick, with, as far as the way you, you peppered in Kong, I thought was great, because there, there was just enough of him. F the, more trailers will be released, obviously, mm -hmm. as we get closer. Are we gonna see a little more of him, or you like the way we're getting? I, I don't know how the campaign's gonna go. I think that Warner Brothers and Legendary, if you look at their Godzilla campaign, I think they were really elegant and classy with how they showed Godzilla what they did. And so, you know, I think that there'll be, uh, you will see much more of Kong eventually. <coughs> um, but I, I, I think that they'll continue that same sort of class as they apply to that campaign to us. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. It is Kong Skull Island coming out next year. I can't wait to see it. You guys should go and see it. And if you haven't seen the trailer, go and watch it. It will knock your mind off, if that makes any sense. <laughs> guys, thank you guys so much for joining us. And keep watching Fandango. We're in the studio. We have a lot of stuff coming at you. So thanks again.